Hi everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and this is a cute little junk journal that is perfect for gift giving, for stocking stuffing, for um, holiday season, um, great for the pet sitter, whatever you like. It's an adorable little item. Anybody can make super simple, super easy and uses basic stuff. So let's take a look at it and um, let's do this. Okay. I'm going to show you the no sew version of this, okay? And uh, that way everybody can make it, but I can show you what you could do that um, you could sew. So, so, so there. Uh, this uh, closure is optional. I just placed an eyelet through here uh, and I used uh, one long string that I pulled a loop through and then threaded it through. And um, I took one this way and one this way. And that way I could come around and tie this cute little doodad as the closure. This is just an optional upgrade if you so wanted to do something like that. Not absolutely necessary, but um, you could. Okay, so the front, it is a fabric covered journal. I used some type of fabric. I don't know what it was originally. It was something from maybe, it's like a muslin cotton fabric, something from a pillow, not a pillow, but uh, maybe eh, I don't know. It was like a bed sheet or a blanket or a curtain, maybe a curtain. Yeah, it's not super heavy. It's a muslin, and uh, but uh, basically a cotton material. And I would say uh, thinner is good for this particular project, like, like like medium to thin as opposed to medium to thick, like not, not heavy upholstery fabric. Okay, so going on the front, I just tore a little piece of bed sheet and put a Believe stamp here. And then I put these little faux rivets here. They just uh, stick on with a little bit of glue. I think I got them at Walmart about four years ago. I you know, you can probably find something similar to that there. And uh, just opening it up, it's a very basic design. I made uh, these, what I'm calling uh, plates on the inside made out of book pages, which I have a bajillion. So I would like to find ways to use them up. So I'm using them for the inside covers. And um, I used one in the back as well. All right. And then I, these are the, some of the rag dyed pages that I made the other day and some green ones that I made the other day. So just some fun different kinds of papers in here. You could put pure white paper in here. It, it would be just as useful, just as utilitarian, and just as adorable. Um, okay, so if you want to learn how to make this little guy, very quick, very easy. Hang tight. All right, what did we use? What did we use? Well, I'm glad you asked. Paper bag. That's right. Um, Paper bags are awesome. These are the lunch bags. Uh, if you don't have these, you can cut up your regular paper grocery bags. And these, so the size on these are 11, whoop, 11 by five. So if you're looking to make one exactly the same size as I did, here's your size, 11 inches by five inches. Now you could just, like I said, cut your paper bag down into 11 inch by five inch strips. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to Put this one so the flappy is on the left. I'm going to see this flappy is going to be on the right, but the two shall be back to back. So they're going to be like, like this. See that? See that? Okay. And I just took some glue stick and I'm going to glue them together. And the nice thing about using the paper bag is that it is a long piece. And whenever you have a long piece of something, it's going to um, be easy to turn into a journal because, uh, it already is long. You don't have to attach the spine to the front and back cover and things like that. So, and, and the nice thing about using the paper bag, it's going to give you that crunkly kind of sound, which we also know and love in the paper world. Okay. So we have that. And now let's grab a piece of fabric. You could even use t-shirt or anything like that would work. Okay. I, I need to back out a little bit, I think. Okay. Whoop. Yep. My clean desk is not clean anymore. Two crafts later and it's all over. What can I say? All right. So just pick whatever, you know, you would like to see on the other side, clear that out, lay this baby down. And I would say leave probably at least half an inch all the way around, um, you know, half inch, three quarters of an inch, and then just go ahead and find where you put your scissors and then come along and just cut that shape out. You can even tear it. It's easier. It should tear straight for you if you're using a muslin or a cotton, which is kind of nice. It's, uh, I find tearing everything easier than, than cutting. It's just the way I am. But if you prefer to cut, go for it and go forth and cut. It's going to be a lot of long stringies and we can deal with all those later unless they become 
very long and very stringy and we're falling over them and we need to deal with them now. So we'll just, I'll take it as it goes. Okay. All right. Okay. Let me give you a little more light on the project here. Okay. So now I'm going to put this down. Nothing fancy. I'm going to use my favorite glue stick, Scotch Create glue stick. And uh, I'm going to use this as the adherence or the, the glue. You could use um, a white glue. You could use um, Fabrifix. You could use whatever you have, but this just... Um, doesn't seep through the fabric. I like that. And it, it holds fabric pretty well. Um, so you use whatever you like to use. Just be mindful that you don't get bleed through. Um, okay, now we're flipping it over and we're just putting it down. Nope, got to put it in the middle, Pam. Okay, there we go. So just make sure it's flattish. If you're unsure, flip it over. Double check. I've got some strings. I can deal with those now. Okay, everybody looks good. And now we're going to do the easy wrap around, around the world. Okay, I'm going to, uh, can I zoom in a little more? Yeah, I think I can. Okay, let me put my light over here. Okay, I think, is that better? Okay, I think that's good. Okay, um, I just put a little dab of glue here, a little dab of glue here, a little dab of glue here. This is Fabrifix clear silicone glue, uh, paper to paper, paper to fabric fabric to fabric. In this in case, it would be fabric to paper. And then I grab and fold that down. I try and shoot for the 90 degree angle of here. 90 degree angle. And here. I think you're going to find these come together relatively quickly. And then we're going to go around the world with the glue. Oops, let me get in the screen for you so you can see. Can't see, Pam, can't see. Just all you got to do is yell out. I'll hear you. I'll hear you. Um, Going around, around the mountain, coming around the bend, come, bringing it home, and going out again. Okay, there we go. All right, that's pretty good. And I am just going to use the shape of this to fold. It just seems to give me more of a flush edge when I do that. Oh, extra there. Don't need you. Okay, you're going to follow me now, aren't you? I know. <laughs> All right, and there we go. Okay, so we are already good to go, and you can just look at it, see which way you want to be up or down. I guess this just makes more sense to me. So this will be right side. This will be my top. This will be my bottom. Front cover, back cover. Flipping over, and now I need to um, cover up my uh, innards here. And what I decided, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to use some pages from a book. Could be any book. I'm just going to grab two pages from this book. These doesn't have to be super thick. Um, I would like to personally go more than one book page thick just because I want a little bit of structure. And I'm going to go ahead and cut around the, um, the words. So I, I get rid of the white space or the, the cream space on the edges. And I'm using my guillotine to do that. And I'll show you what that looks like. Looks like this. And then I'm going to measure to see where I want, how long I want. I'm going to pseudo measure. This is called non-measuring. I'm just going to fold it up there. I know where I need to cut right there. Okay, going back over here, going to cut right there. Now, on the first one, where is it? I sewed these around, okay, so that they would stick together. And then I just glued the whole thing down. This one... I am going to glue the whole thing. So, uh, uh, okay, need my famous glue mat here, known as magazine. And uh, first, I got to glue them together. Where's my glue? There it is. Okay. Oh, who do I like better? Maybe I like you better. You're kind of cool with the the graph and everything. Okay, we'll just get you basically together. Okay. And then we'll put you on. Hold your breath. Let's hope we put it in the right spot. That looks pretty good. Okay, so now we are one. Now we are one. Now you have options. You could just completely glue this right down to there, not do anything to the edges. Or you could enhance the edges if you want. You could come around with um, plan A would be just ink it to give it some definition. So let's look at that so you can see what that looks like. I love making these fun little journals. 
Uh, they're so rewarding so quickly. I think that's what it is. Okay, so you could just c come around like that. You got a little bit of emphasis there. Or you could go around and do something more to it. But I'm going to show this one very basic so anybody can do this, depending on what you have. Okay, um, you don't have material, go tear up a shirt in your closet. Don't be shy. There's something in there that you don't wear that you've been sitting on. Come on, you know it. All right, lots of glue around the edges. You could also use Fabrifix for this. Um, absolutely would be a good option. It will, whoop, so now this is getting super gluey. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that. Yep, I'm going to go on a nice clean page. And here we go. So I'm, I'm kind of eyeballing. It's about the same distance. Well, you can't really see it with it because I've got there. Better? <laughs> All right, now smoosh smoosh adhere okay now we're going to do the same thing on this side so let me go ahead and get a couple pages i'm cutting around the world all right got all my extra stuff up and that's just choice you don't you don't have to do that step that's just i, I like to see a lot of printing a lot of text okay to see exactly where I need to do it. So make my little mark, go back over to the guillotine and trim it right there. Okay. And we're here. Now we need to glue them together. Where's my glue stick? Redundant equations. Oh, that sounds painful, doesn't it? Yeah. That would be right when I was thinking, oh, in math class, oh my God, is it lunch yet? I'm so hungry. I just want to get out of here. Get me out. Get me out. Oh, they're going to ask me to measure any minute. I know it. <laughs> Probably, right? Um, no, it's good to know your math. Know your math. Learn the math. Somebody learn the math. Um, <laughs> okay, got that. Oh, can't pick it up now. Now I'm going to glue the back. Apparently this became my glue mat now. This is just an old piece of scrapbook paper that I had sitting here. And there we are. We are good and gluey glued. All right, now we have that. Put that down. Eyeball measure, eyeball measure, and we're down. Okay, so now we just have this middle section to deal with. And I think what I'm going to do is just grab a piece of material. Okay. And I'm just going to pick a piece that will just barely cover each side. I'm going to cut it a little wider because I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to get fray. Okay. Okay, and there's my fray. I'm fraying as I thought I would, so just give yourself a little extra in case you want to pull some threads. Do that sort of thing. Okay, okay. And yeah, we can go down like that, and I can probably snip some off. I'll bring you down. I like, I like you at the top. Pretty purpley colors. All right, now let's just figure out where we need to snip a -roo here. Snip a -roo. Tear. All right, so now we're just going to glue that down. You could also sew this down, but I'm just going to glue it down. Um, yeah, I'm just going to use Fabrifix now. You could also use the Scotch Create. I just happened to grab the Fabrifix, so I'm going to use it. The Fabrifix is a stronger glue, so anywhere where you feel like you need a stronger adherence, like some, uh, um, a fold or a seam or something that really needs to have some, you know, emphasis, yeah, then, then use the Fabrifix or a stronger fabric glue. Um, but this is a light project, um, not a lot of heavy wear and tear going on here. So pretty much most glues will work here. You could even use a white glue here. It would work. It would work. Yes. Okay. So now we have that and that is our cover. Okay. Oh, okay. Did it stick? Nope. All right. So now you actually have options. You could make it a fatter journal. You could put several, um, signatures in there or you could make it a thinner journal make it a one one signature or two signature journal and just use wider pages and i think that's what i'm going to do um and that is what i did with this one okay um okay so i'm going to grab some papers grabbing hear me grabbing that's me grabbing grab some other papers a whole bunch of these okay let me back up a bit so you can see what's going on and I'm just going to do, oh, let me get some of those cool ones, the raggedy ones. You raggedy pages, where are ya? Here you are. So we'll put one, you'll be on the front, then we'll put you, then we'll put a green one. Now let's count pages. Three, okay, four, 
I'll put you in the end. Five. Oh, you're kind of cool. Six. Seven. Oh, that's cool. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay, so you can you can you know mix and match any pages you want, and they could like I said they could be perfectly white pages. Pages white pages would look very cool in this, and and let me let me prove that to you. Hold on, I'm coming in with proof. I'm coming in with proof. Okay, I made this cute little journal. This was actually made out of a magazine, on the inside, if I recall correctly, and uh, now with a quick pull of this little handmade rope. I just put white paper on the inside. Yes, yes, just good old whoop, blotch there. Um, mostly white paper on the inside. <laughs> but uh, it, that's kind of cool, isn't it? Because um, uh, it's just good, clean white writing paper. If somebody just wanted to purely journal on white paper, it can be done. And I think it looks very nice in a decorated cover, um, uh, you know, inside a decorated cover. So don't feel bad if you only have white paper. You don't always have to go through the the, you know, the act of dying and all that kind of stuff. Anyway, so we have 10 pages, right? So 10. Okay, we're going to fold that in half. Now, you always want to multiply by four. Whatever your full sheets are, you multiply by four, and that's going to give you how many pages. I like this side, maybe. How many pages front and back you're going to have. So we're going to have 40 page, a little 40 page journal. How cute is that, right? Totally adorbs. I love it. All right, you might want to get the old folder of boneness. Give it that. All right. Now, um, now I'm just going to use the old measuring technique again. The old trickaroo. Find out where middle is. Happy ground. Okay, I'm too far away. Come closer. Woo! Okay, what I'm doing is there's my, my fold. That's my spine, okay? I can see it. it's right there. So I'm going to put this pretty close. I'm going to decide how low I want the journal to sit. So I don't have to cut the top, but I'm going to say, maybe I want it to come in to about here. And then I'm going to make a mark over way over here. Okay. We can't, you can't see. Gosh, I'll move <laughs> down here. How far up do I want it? Okay. How far in do I want it from the edge? Okay. And that's going to deal with my edging and the bottom and it should fit perfectly. Let me cut it on the guillotine. I'll be right back. All right, I'm going to show you what happened. This was too many pages for my guillotine. It's usually happy around the eight mark. Around the 10, it starts to heave and choke like it can't make it. So we're going to come in with the big save with the ruler. Back up. With the ruler and the craft knife. Because it really doesn't matter how thick it is with the ruler and the craft knife, because as long as you're committed, you're going to get the job done. All right, just going. Okay, I'm not cut here yet. So, okay, let me just take off what, okay, not, not wanting to come off. Oh, can you hear the paper cutting? It's just like saying, I give. All right, I thought I was gonna stay on, but no, no, I am, I'm coming off. <laughs> I give up. All right, there we go. Eh, let me get that a little better. A little more flusheroo. If it's not perfect, you can go back in and, and do it better. And if you find you're struggling, it means that your craft knife is dull and you should switch to a new blade. And, and I need to switch to a new blade. I'm too lazy. But you will get a knife. Let me just, I have another craft blade. Da, 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 da. Let's hope this one is sharper. Yeah, you can sing your way through any issue. Okay, oh yeah, this one is more like butter. More like butter. That's what you want. The butter. Okay, you can see all that. Good. All right, there we go. Now we went all through. Much better, much better. Okay, so now there was another mark here. All right, instead of choking it on the uh, guillotine, I am going to just cut it here. I'm using my craft mat to follow a line. Put that on a, so, uh, something I can follow. Go deep or go home. There we go. Two strikes. See, I mean, when you have a sharp blade, it, it cuts very quickly. If you find you're going over and over and over, it's just a dull blade. Yeah, you just need to let it go. Let it go, sister. Let it go, brother. Let it let it go into the abyss. Okay. There. We have our innards. And, boop. We are like this now. Looking very much like the other one. Okay, well, now the other one, I did so down the center. 
which is very fast and easy if you have a sewing machine. I would use, um, in, on my brother, it's a number one uh, straight stitch, and I just used very wide stitches so I don't put too many perforations. Although this is so reinforced well with fabric, um, it's probably not going to be, a, it's not like a lot of intensity going on in a tiny journal like this, so it's going to be okay. Don't worry about it too much. But if you don't have that, you can use an awl or a pokey tool, or, you know, my old favorite standby to punch some holes is, da, 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 it's already here. Oh, thank God, something's actually already here. Um, this is, now I'm going, now normally what I would do is I would punch the cover and then match up the signatures to meet, meet the cover holes. You don't have to do that. This is a paper bag, just paper you're going through. You could just go through this puppy, cover and uh, signatures all at the same time. Just make sure you're in the right thing and you wanna be on the one eighth. Can you see what I'm doing? No, closer. Yep. Okay, I'm punching. Okay, I'm just gonna pick where I think would be good. There, the one eighth. That's where I want to be. So you're near the top. You can clip these down with paper clips too if you feel like uh, you don't want it to run around on you. I see a little migration going on. There we go. Okay, turn it around. And then. There we go. Okay. Now, this is up, this is down. Let me grab um, a needle and some thread. Okay, I have some embroidery floss here. You wanna test it to make sure it's strong because I buy mine vintage and sometimes it's not strong, but give it the test. And if you're strong, or if it's strong, you are a go. I think one piece is gonna do us here. Let's see. One, two, three. That's the length that you want. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to grab, uh, and I'm only doing one signature, signature, so you only really need one, but I think I'm going to use two, just because I thought it would be fun. I'll just give it a little more thickness. I don't know, just trying to make things complicated at the, the nth hour here. All right, get these guys all together. Let them know who's boss. You're going through. You're going to be threaded. Oh, see, they complied. Good. <laughs> Yay. All right, and we're through. And we're sewing. You could also put eyelets on this. That would be cool. Um, what else, what else? These are just so much fun to make. And you're always gonna need a little notebook. These would go great in the purse. The fabric gives them extra strength. So they, you know, they won't crumble. Paper, you know, kind of gives way sometimes. Um, okay. Fiber is fiber, right? Paper is fiber, fabric is fiber. It's all fiber, so it's a, just a different form of the same stuff, you know what I mean? And, uh, okay, I gotta pull you tight. All right, now we're gonna put underneath the bridge, right? Here's your bridge. You wanna have one on one side, one on the other side, a wing on either side. Check, make sure everybody is where they should be. And then tie right over left, and then do this left over right that is like brain surgery to me for some reason um okay and I'm, I'm just gonna leave it let it dangle a little bit for fun because I don't know exactly how long I'm gonna want it to be in the end take this and you are pretty much done you are done Sally you took it home the whole way somebody asked who Sally was I, I have no idea well I, I think it's like a reference my husband used to make all the time uh, when he was talking about, I don't know, his work. <laughs> there was no, no Sally. It was just like a, a reference to like a person in general. And somehow I adopted it. So anyway, that who was, that's, Sally is nobody. <laughs> okay, so there we go. We have this. And then all I did to make it to be this was, da, 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 bed sheet, da, da. Bed sheets are great. They look so cool. And, and, you know, nobody says, hey, that's a bed sheet. Um, but, you know, it's, it's just really nice. If you get the right cotton bed sheets, the good ones, you can get them in the thrift stores for next to nothing. And it gives you so much material to work with. You'll be like working on one bed sheet forever. Um, let me make that a little thinner. And you can put anything you want here. It could be a picture. It could be a word. Um, it could be blank. Maybe you want somebody to have a spot to write something on. And here I've got the word spirit. 
All right, so let's put that on there. Okay, hear it? Yeah, okay, got that. Right, put that down, okay. See, I never have anything under me when I need it. Um, where's my glue stick? Here it is. You could use Fabrifix here. I'm just gonna use glue stick because it's, it's gonna get it right to the edges nicely, quickly, and it will hold. Put that down. Da 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 da. Now that's that's the Superman song. Somebody said I made a Superman sound, and that that sounds like the Superman song, doesn't it? Um, kind of. <laughs> Come on, work with me here. Uh, okay, now where's that little dotty doodad thing? Up oh, there it is. Here's this thing I got at Walmart like a hundred years ago. So you never know when you're going to use something, right? So these. Come here. So my Fabrifix and need a little extra glue dad. Glue dad. Oh, glue. 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 Can you guys see? Yeah. Okay. I mean, what's the purpose if you guys can't see, right? That's like all for naught. All for naught. Okay. One. These are easy. No rivets. I mean, brads. You can use brads here too, but you know, if you can just glue these puppies on. And there's nothing to fuss with on the back because you've already have your back decorated because you didn't pre-think, hey, I was doing this then because you, you did it later. And uh, if you want to, so there you have a beautiful little journal. Isn't that cute? I mean, just cute as button, right? If you wanted to jazz that up a little bit. Let me show you jazz factor. What time is it? Okay, yeah, we're good. We have time to jazz. Okay. Um, I'm going to use a medium width, medium, M. M Fabric, Faber, Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen in black. And I'm just going to fo so. Here it comes. Do, 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 do. Just to give it a look of edging. Because I, I, I don't, in this one is a no sew journal. Um, no machine sew, I should say, because we did sew in the, the triple or the uh, three hole pop pamphlet stitch. All right. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. I'm not going to go there. Maybe here. Do, 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 do. Anybody remember algebra? Anybody use it? Really? I mean, really, I just want to know. I mean, I know there are people that use it. Architects and engineers and chemists and stuff like that. But, you know, I guess it was just a mental exercise. And let's see if we can get their brains to think. Um in an abstract form. They should have given us a pile of paper and said, let's see what you can make out of this. Yeah, now that would have been fun and we would have really gone to town and made some crazy things. Um, but no, 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 they gave us uh, A equals B squared plus C squared. Yeah, cosine. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so just to add a little bit of something, you know, it doesn't have to be much. You don't have to have Tons of supplies to make stuff. If you don't have the crocodile, you can use an awl. Let me see if I can show you. Oh, there's one. Come on. Now somebody's probably say, I think this is an awl. Okay, this is an awl, and this is an ice pick. They're often confused. It doesn't matter what you call them. This one has a pseudo pointy end. This one has a very pointy end. Both will go through if you push hard enough is what I found. This one you can hit with a rubber mallet on the end. Probably hit this one with a rubber mallet on the end too, if you don't have the crocodile. So just remember that. Um, but if you do have the crocodile, then it's very easy to come along and do something like this. Okay, going in here, and I'm going to use the big hole, which is the three sixteenths. Okay, and then guess where center is. Got to look look to see where it's coming down, and then aim. <laughs> Cross your fingers. Okay, once you have that, you get your eyelet. You don't have to even use the eyelet here. It could be eyeletless. Yep, it could be. Um, it, eyelet optional here. Eyelet optional. I'm going to use this little goldy coppery one because um, kind of, I don't know, maybe picks up something. Uh, you just work with me. It's sort of close <laughs> to that. Sliding this all the way north works the eyelet squasher. And you, okay. Uh, pointy silver bump, silver flying saucer disc. Okay, that's what you want. Or at least that's what works for me. I don't have to fuss with it too much. Okay. Squeeze. Hope. Yes! 
good. Okay, so now we just we need some. Um, we need something. Something. What about this? This is something. I need scissors. Okay. Give me a piece. Give me a long piece. I don't know how long I need it. Okay. I'm guessing. You know, this is kind of. This is seam binding that I probably tea dyed at one point, and that's kind of pretty, isn't it? Yeah. It's um. The other one was lace. I think I got this from the Dollar Tree. They sell lace like this in rolls. So you don't have to spend too much on that. And any lace, any ribbon, really like a soft ribbon would work nicely. This, so you see that? I just, I just made, I doubled it up, holding the loop, pulling through the loop and yank it. And you are on there. And you don't need to do another one. You can, if you want to tie the front to the back and do a little bow ski right here, you could totally do that. Or if, let's hope this is long enough, you come around this way. I should have told you how long it was, right? That would have been helpful. Um, I'll see if I can figure it out. There, there you go. And you might need to trim a little tail because one will be longer than the other, but isn't that cute? That's so cute, isn't it? Yeah, okay, cute, yeah. Um, you wanna know how long that is? I'll tell you, oh, I got, I got, I'll tell you quick. I'll, I'll just take it right out and I'll tell you exactly how long it is. How about that? All right, so if you found value here, please like, subscribe, and share. Click the notification bell. My favorite tools and supplies are found in my Amazon store. Uh, all, all links are down below. My free monthly emailed newsletter with all sorts of stuff. That's uh, 23. Oh, now i got to do math. Thanks a lot. Okay. Uh, 33. It was like 34 inches. How about that? So... Uh, uh, my Etsy shop has vintage digital kits that you can download and print out and use all sorts of focal points and things like that. Or um, you might find some junk journals or some bundles, gift bundles and things like that popping in there by surprise or possible pre-announcement with video. You just never know. Take a peek every once in a while, especially coming close to the holiday season, trying to make as much stuff as possible. So you might have options for uh, your holiday season. And my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. Podcasts, which are audio, new material, come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, it's free to listen to if you have Apple or Spotify, or if just click the link below to anchor.com and you'll listen for free. And um, I am on Instagram, Pinterest, Etsy, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun. Link is down below as well. Um, we're focusing on weekly and monthly challenges and creating things that are uh, junk journal related, junk journals, junk journal embellishments and having a lot of fun. So I hope you guys have a great day. Just know that you can make a cutie little boo journal very quickly, very easily, just adorable. This one is made from two paper bags, but it is awesome. It has the crinkly factor. It's golden. So hope you enjoyed this. Hope you had fun. I want you guys to have fun. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. Oh, wait, you want to see Snugglepuss? Oh, Snugglepuss, are you awake? Sunshine? You are? Are you you're okay for a quick, oh, oh, I don't know, we might get cut off by the video. All right, here it comes. Oh, probably going. There he is, bye. <laughs> that was very cute, Sunshine. Very cute. <laughs>